Greetings to you. This is Brandon the Freight Broker with Alliance Logistics. We hope this message finds you in great health and spirit this morning. Our topic of conversation today will be establishing a good reputation. It is so important, so very important as a freight broker that you establish a good reputation and you establish that re reputation usually one customer at a time, doing what you're going to say when you say you're going to do it. Do what you say and do it when you say you're going to do it. That's very important in the world of freight brokering. Your customer expects that of you. And when you do anything that falls short of that, of course, you're not looked at favorably. Uh, so it's very important to always do what you say you're going to do when it comes down to the relationship you're establishing with you and your customer. Simply, uh, we practice uh, the principle of when we say that we're going to do something, we usually under promise and over deliver. That way, when our customer uh, has an experience with us, they look upon us favorably because we do what we say we're going to do. And if anything goes wrong in what it is that we've said that we're going to do, we always update our customer. We always give our customer a call and let them know this is what's going on or send them an email. We don't shy away or kind of cover our heads and go into a hole when things go wrong. That is the time that we are on the phone or shooting an email out, updating our customer, letting them know what's going on because things are going to happen in this business. So when things happen, we have to do um, what we know be, to be the right thing to do, and that's provide updates to our customers and let them know what's going on. And then, of course, let them know what solution we have in place to fix the problem. That way, your customer kind of establish some confidence in you. Um, you know, you got to look at it. This customer, you know, probably works with a lot of different people every day. And plenty of those people fail. Some of them do what they say they're going to do. You want to make sure that you're on the side with your customer where he can, he or she can say, this is the person that I know that I can go to when I need something done. And when that happens, you'll see what 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 will happen with your business is um, you'll start to establish more business business with that particular customer. He'll give you more loads. Uh, he'll give you more responsibility. And as you start to take on more responsibility, of course, your business reflects um, the responsibility, the more the responsibility that you're taking on. Uh, so that's very important to do what you're going to what you say you're going to do when it comes down to what you are communicating to your customer. Uh, the next thing that we want to talk about is when you have the choice of choosing what is right over what is wrong or what is ethical over what is unethical. Always make the right choice. Choose what is right. Always choose what is ethical, what is ethical, because this first time you do something for money. Or you go outside of what is ethical. You go outside what is right for money. It'll backfire. And when that happens, you can basically kiss your business goodbye. Uh, so don't sacrifice ethics. Don't f sacrifice what is right based on extra, extra dollars. Because the money will come uh, and more of it will come when you're doing what you say you're going to do. And that's just how it works. So don't take shortcuts. Always do what is right, and you'll start to see that your business will grow. We're starting to see that uh, at this very time because we practice doing what we say we're going to do all the time, under-promising, over-delivering. Again, this is Brandon. We wanted to talk with you and share that bit of information with you this morning. We wish you well in all that you endeavor to do. If ever we can help you, please let us know in the comments section. Write a comment, ask a question if you have a question, and we'll definitely give you an answer or go and look for an answer if we don't have the answer. So again, we want to say thank you so much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. If you find it helpful, please like the video. Uh, we also have a website, www.alliancelogistics.net. There's a blog there, free information. And of course, this information is specific to our industry uh, and it can help our truckers and brokers. So again, Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and we wish you well.